Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It's me, Kay. Hello, it's me, Serge. Hi. Okay, everything's working. Me. Good. Why would you shoot at me? It's okay. I don't think I can damage you. No, you turned friendly fire off. Yeah. Uh, as you may recall, it's been it's been a while for us, but as you may recall, uh, shit went down the other night. And we're trying to figure out how we want to be surviving out here. We're probably going to start a farm today. Uh, my plan, Serge, is, like, I like the bank as a fortification because I think we can get up on the roof and shoot yeah. down. Uh, maybe make some, like, iron grates that we can stand on, like, a balcony and shoot down through it. And that would be a better place to survive horde nights. While inside here is a better place to survive, like, regular nights. All right, if that's the way you want to go, we yeah. can uh, focus that yeah. We'll try no to get problem. to day 21 next and survive there, but right now the bank is not in a state that's defensible at all. No. It's just complete open air. Anybody can get in here and, and just ruin our day. So there, this thing's still floating, and that terrifies me. I don't <laughs> comprehend this at all. Neither do I. It should have uh, cracked and fell. I'll work on that a little bit. I'm very curious about that. Uh, but in any case, I'm glad to be back. Uh, it's been a busy couple months with the Halloween stuff. I was too busy to do recording, and Serge was busy with National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo, uh, in November and didn't have time to do any recording. So it's actually December for us now as we're yep. recording this, and it's been two months since we were able to do anything. So, yeah. It's been quite some time. How oh, is this whole... connected to something? How does it fly? <laughs> this shit's levitating, dude. It's like a Mortal Kombat not... character. I don't understand. That is really, really, really odd. I need to find some small stones to repair my stupid, shitty hatchet. But uh, as soon as we can get another wrench, we'll tear these cars out back here. We'll make this place a lot more survivable, I suspect. I just checked my inventory, and I have a whole bunch of uh, wrought iron fence. Yeah, you were going to put in a, a fence, remember, around the the little hole so that the zombies had something they had to pound through to get it to us? You want me to put that up? Yeah, go ahead and put that in. You can use those uh, fence posts as a guideline, I think. Yeah. I think that's why we kept the fence post, right? I believe so. Oh, that's going to take a while. Find something a little easier to hit. Wait, what the hell did I just pick up? Oh, raw iron. That's a new item. You uh, used to just hammer iron right out of the rocks directly. I, I was going to say, we should probably mention that the game updated between the last time we played that, as well. That is a good thing to mention. Yeah, the game updated. Cacti are flying all over the damn place. Holy shit. Uh, the game updated to Alpha 15, so that's why things look and probably feel a little bit different. Because they are just a little bit. I'm just mostly wandering around today getting acquainted with this stuff. I think we're going to take the LP to about 28 days, maybe a little longer than that, like 35 or something. I don't want to do this for like 100 days because this game is a technical nightmare to record. <laughs> it, it is it is in Alpha 15, and the emphasis is on the word Alpha. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing this for quite a while yet, so you know, buckle up. We're going to be here a while. Uh, you know what I'm going to actually do today is I'm going to scout a little bit. I want to see if there's any more towns, because what we have right now, we have. Like, there's nothing more for us in that town. Yeah. Well, I can continue to fortify it if you want me to. Yes, yes. 100% do that. God damn, I missed the damn deer. Okay. Oh, that got him. Okay, I'm going to harvest uh, some stuff and take it back with me when I get back. I'm going to need to make a lot of wrought iron fence. Just looking at this. Yeah. Might want to update those fence posts or something too, because I think they're just crappy old wood. Yeah, for Zombies sure. Will knock them down. We need the fence to protect our farm at the very least, so. Yeah. Okay, well, I've got some stuff off that deer I just shot. 
Well, that hunting rifle's nice for that. I just shoot the damn deer. I don't care anymore. <laughs> That's worth one uh, 772 round. Or two if I fuck up and miss like I did that time. <clears throat> Kills them dead. You know what I have failed to find any of so far? Uh, zombies, interestingly enough. Ain't seen a one of them. No, well, we did clear the place out pretty well. Yeah, but I'm wandering out in the in the roads. Ah, uh, So, yeah. like, I would think I would see somebody sooner or later. Also, I forgot to take supplies. That's going to be a problem. Maybe I'll find some water on the way and that'd be good. Uh, oh, I found an iron pickaxe that's functional still. That's good. Sweet. I'll just use the bow on lone zombies. That would be wise. Sorry, lady. <laughs> Goodbye, nurse. Oh, K O. I K O. Put the, I put the K in K O. <laughs> Who are you? You a beater? Nah, you're not a beater. I can take you with a bow. Right, let, let me see what I can do about. Getting more iron. Because I just used up all my capacity. Boy, he, he had a little adventure when he died. That was weird. Oh! Whoa! Shit. Uh, okay, this road terminates in a, about a 200 foot drop. So, about what I expect from Arizona. Guess we can't go that way. Cool. <laughs> just a road. That has a 200 foot drop off the edges. It's lovely. I love it. Beautiful. It's just a sheer. There's no signs or anything. They just want you to die right there. It's great. This is Arizona, man. Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. We're going to definitely need more uh, iron uh, because uh, to well, make you this were gonna... uh, rot. You were going to start yeah. a mine, weren't you, in the in the base? I was. Um... Well, that should solve that problem nicely. I see the you over there swaggering around, motherfucker. Come on. The only question is, is if I will be able to find an iron vein. I think they're pretty damn common. It's one of the most common metals on the planet. Oh, god damn it, I'm such a bad shot. There. Oh. Take that, foul fiend. Get jiggly as hell. Good. Why do they get all jiggly when you start to loot them? I don't understand that. Maybe it has something to do with, like, their changing models? Maybe it has something to do with this game being so horrifyingly unstable and messed up. <laughs> Like, I love this game, but I'll tell you one thing. I'd be glad when I don't have to patch together, like, 18 clips to make an episode because of random crashes and junk. <laughs> well, hopefully this uh, new update is more stable. Now, I was playing uh, with friends, like, outside of K-Play's recording last night. It's not. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Well, that's a shame. I was actually doing much the same. There's another deer down. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm starting to think of something. Instead of making a wrought iron fence, why not make like a cement barrier? <laughs> Because uh, these cement walls that I'm trying to dig out in order to start this mine have like 3,000 health compared to the 250 of the iron. Well, you can make cement stuff, can't you? Yeah, I just need a cement mixer. Well, what's that take? Uh, let me find out. A cement mixer requires a workbench, forged iron, spring, a small engine, and mechanical parts. Well, we got a workbench. We make forged iron. That's not a big deal. For sure. 
And if we can get a wrench, we can definitely get the mechanical parts. And, and the spring. Other... We got some springs. So all we really need is just uh, the mechanical parts, I guess. Yeah. Of mechanical parts, I know nothing. Uh, I You can get them from using a wrench on, uh, like, cash registers, televisions. Mm. So uh, we need to find a wrench, which means we need to probably find a town. If we're being realistic here. Yeah. All right. Well, I will continue to search for a town while you continue to try and make something survivable at night. Like, I don't care what, <laughs> as long as you do something. Boy, I'm telling you what, this update sure screwed up our world, though, man. You think? I'm thinking so. I got some suspicions about that, yeah. A couple. <laughs> if you travel outside for more than, like, five minutes, I think you'll find the same. Are we in, like, a pocket dimension that doesn't quite exist in the real world anymore? We're going to be fed to the Langoliers? Yes, basically. <laughs> we might need to start a new world. Uh, there's some pretty severe problems happening. Really? Yeah, um... I'm thinking there's some problems. I mean, I can't quite put my finger on what's wrong, but something seems off to me. <laughs> uh, whoa, shit, I think I just heard a zombie. Also, there are cacti floating everywhere. They've, they've, they've evolved. T yep. Oh, shit, that is, a, that is a lot of zombies, and I just got stunned. What, you up by our, I, our house? Yeah, I, I, I climbed up to get out. Oh, shit, run away. Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh, it's a passing horde. Okay. Alright, well, oh, let's, God. Uh, let's get over here and then crouch so that, uh, let me know when you're undetected. Because they're just being, going, they're going through. Yeah, yeah, I'm being hunted. Yeah, I know. And I'm bleeding to death, and I don't have any bandages. Oh, this is... We're I about to have a now. bad day. Can I make a bandage and heal myself? You're gonna need to move very shortly. Using a bandage. I'll draw them away from you. Okay, I should stop bleeding now. Okay. <sighs> Quit jiggling, you weird fucks. Ranged attacks may be called for in such a situation as this. This is a very uh, serious situation that you have involved me in. <laughs> I didn't try to involve you. Oh shit, I think I just fell off the world. Yep, you're sinking. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting day. You are s sort of quasi-levitating, but embedded in the ground levitating, so not very good kind. You're sinking slowly, you're going away, man. I'm gonna miss you. I'm sorry! <laughs> Goodbye, Surge. <laughs> no! Goodbye. Seven days to die, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoyed no. this series. Uh, <laughs> no! no. I, I can't do a thing for you, my friend. Uh, I am, like, literally stuck. Yeah, you're... I see you, dude. Your, your head is... Maybe you can dig yourself out. Yeah, that's a good plan. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye out for the Zambonis. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Did I climb out? I think oh. you're free. You made it out. Oh, what a fortunate day. Oh, there's a... Here, I'm gonna go get that. If I if I don't fall through the fucking world or some shit. Oh, Let's see, Christ. Do I have any water to drink? Yes, I do. Okay. Let me just drink that. Well, I just killed, like, a metric fuck ton of zombies there. There's still more. Oh, yeah. We're just going to let them go on through. They're not actually after us. They're just a roving horde. <sighs> it's bullshit because I came up to <laughs> get supplies and do stuff. You just came up at a bad time. Also, do you see what I mean about there maybe being some problems out here? Yeah, I fell through the world. I, I, I fell face first into a problem. I, I have a feeling this may be the final episode of uh, of this world. We may need to make a new world, guys. Yeah, uh, I officially am in support of that. Unforeseen technical difficulty. So I guess we'll go to like day 28 in a new world. So you're going to get even more episodes. Holy 28 shit. days later. Yeah. What is this nightmare that we have gotten now? What the is even going on man 
We it's like I'm, I'm looking into the matrix and I found out like the problems. God. Oh my god, there's just a ravine of like Yep. Oh, so oh you can my... see that shit too. Good. <laughs> I yeah. thought that was just me, man. I'm oh, going to check the house Lord. that's outside of time here that I found. Wow, the mountain just disappeared into the void. Yeah, it'll do that to you. I'm two hit, oh, hit points away before. from being dead. <laughs> I'm emotionally dead at this point, I think, having seen the world. <laughs> I'm still going for that, that crate. I don't see much hope for this place, dude. Uh, no. Something severely not right. Oh my god, this is... There's, an there's another zombie. I'm... Oh, shit. I heard a gunshot. Yeah, that was me oh, shooting that zombie you. dead. Damn, that travels a long-ass way, dude. Hang on, let me... I wonder if the sound attracted that horde from when you were shooting you. that deer. Damn, we were far apart and I heard that shot. It was loud, too. They made guns a lot louder, I think. So that used to not even really be an issue. Oh... Um, I think I might run into trouble getting that, uh, getting that crate. You sure? Fairly. Well, I'm following I after you. I have a <laughs> suspicion that there's going to be a problem, and I think you'll see the problem pretty quickly. <laughs> this is so broken. <laughs> is it the giant wall of texture? Yeah, it's the, uh, like, couple hundred foot tall cliff that has appeared there, trapping us in this area forever. So, yeah, guys, I think we're gonna see you in a new world in a little while. Uh, okay. yeah. If we're, if we're about to cut here, then there's only one way for me to go out now. Yeah. Since I have two hit points, uh, I feel like it's rather po poignant to die to a cactus. Yeah, let me let me come to you. We'll offer ourselves up to the cactus gods and hope for no. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna offer <laughs> myself up to the cactus gods and hope for a better world. Oh my god! <laughs> Hurt me more, cacti. Ah, just ping, ping pong balling through cacti here. This Jeez. is what the fuck happened, man? The update just sent us into a pocket. Purgatory. Seven days to die, ladies and gentlemen. Seven days to die. One update to cry. <laughs> One update to cry. If you if you wonder, real talk while I'm offering myself to the cactus gods, if you wonder why there's not a lot of let's plays that go on very long of seven days to die out there, it's because this shit happens. And nobody wants to put up with that. I love oh, this game. I do want to say that. It's a really good game, and it's largely well-made. It just has some problems, and when it has those problems, they are catastrophic. Oh, no, without a doubt. I just wanted to comment on that and say, for an alpha, though, it is actually remarkably pretty... I, I'm using finger quotes when I say yeah. this next word. Solid. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you were going to say stable, and I was going to kick you, like, just out of this call. <laughs> I was like, that is a fucking lie, sir. You are a liar. No. Uh, it's like not stable. I said, it is, however, solid. Much like, say, Ark. Another another game that is not finished, but incredibly, like, well put together still and has a lot. This is, a, like, a whole game. It's a complete and functional game. It's just not always the functional part of functional. Yeah. Oh, God. You will not kill me, burning person. For you I must... shall die to the cactus gods. <laughs> the cactus was the bane of this world. It created us, and it shall destroy us. I die as I lived. Running through a desert, getting hit by cacti. There we go. We will see you all in the next video in a new world. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.